Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I take care of my batteries during the winter, my deep cycle batteries. I've taken them out of the boat and we're gonna take care of them because we want them to last us that five years that they say that they can last. These are lead acid batteries. So first thing we'll do is check the voltage. Once the battery is charged, fully charged, take a multimeter and check how much voltage you have at your battery. Give me a sec, I'll go get the multimeter. Got the multimeter, turn it on, put it on voltage, plus, minus, and I have 12.79. It's pretty good. It's charged, I'm trying to hold both so I can show you guys. 1279. I don't know if you guys can see it. 1279. That's pretty good. This battery is going to its fifth year. So it's getting to the end of life. We're going to make sure it's good for another year. We've measured the voltage. Now we want to check the levels of the liquids that are in the battery. Very important that the, the cell is not drying out. If the cell is drying out, you're gonna have problems. It's not gonna be able to give the full potential. So we're gonna remove the caps. Do this with glasses and gloves. You're playing with acid here. Remove the caps. Take a light to look inside your cells. My levels are fine. If you see you're missing any liquid, you need to add distilled water. Don't put tap water, distilled water. That's for step two. Step three. Now, this battery is end of life. I'm probably gonna be able to use it another year. So what I'm gonna make, do is make sure that all my cells are in good health. The voltage looked fine with the multimeter, but this will tell me if the liquid in the cell is able to charge the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna fill up the liquid by putting this in the little hole, suck the liquid out, and this meter here, if it floats and the liquid's in the red, it's bad. If it's in the white, eh, green, your liquid's still good. Your acid's still good. Let's test it. So my float just floated. Ooh, see? I'm still in the green, but I'm about to cross to the white. So this cell is showing sign of fatigue. We put the liquid back by putting the, we lift and put the liquid back. Now I'm gonna go measure cell two. There we go. Got a good amount of liquid here. Yeah, this one seems a little better than the first one. It's in the green. It's right here in the green. It's a little far for you guys to see, but I can confirm it's in the green. We'll do cell three and then we'll stop for the video. I don't want to keep you guys here all day watching my video. There we go, it's in, squeeze, liquid in, float, floats, he's in the green. Still good. I'm actually happy to see that. And you repeat the process for the next three cells. I don't want this video to be 20 minutes either. So I'll stop this here.
I showed you what to do with the three first ones. You keep on doing it for the three last ones. I'll be back with the next step. Okay, guys, I did the three other cells. The fifth one, little tired, but still in the green. So one, two, and five, getting tired. I know this guy is gonna last me maybe one more year. That's it, I'm not, I can't ask for more. We can close back the taps, the covers, little clip that lets you know that it's closed. There we go. We're done with playing with the, the, the liquids in the battery. I only do this because the battery is getting old. The hydrometer test. The only reason why I would do this test is if I have suspicion that the battery is going bad or like I said, it's getting to end of life. At least it gives me an idea of what's going on. If your battery is one or two years old, don't need to do this test. Unless you're having suspicions that you're not getting full potential of your battery. All right, we're done with this test. We have one more test to do. I can take these guys out now. Done playing with the acid. The glasses, very important when you play with the acid. Put them down. I'll put the battery around. So we got our positive or negative. We'll do a little test on it. But now since I played with the liquids in the cells, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back on the charge, make sure it's at 100% again, and then I'll do the load test. So I'll put my battery to charge and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. All right. We've charged our battery 100%. She's ready for the load test. Disconnect the charger. Bring back our load test. Very important, you need to look for a CCA reading. That's the cold cranking um, for your battery. So mine is at 575. If we look here, it's a 12 volt battery. So of course, we're gonna be looking at this section over here. This is for a six volt battery. So 12 volt battery at 575. So I'd be looking at the second green column. So when I do my load test, it's gonna, it should get to about the yellow mark where it says weak. And then when I stop my load test, it's about 10 second test, not more than that. Once I let go, my arrow should go back in between the green over here because my cranking is at 575. Let's do it. Red for positive. I'll bring the phone actually closer. Look at that technology. <laughs> so we can see that we're at 12 volts here. All right. My load test is here. I'm going to start it. And we're gonna count till 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let go. I'm way back up there. So my battery is doing pretty good. Can't complain. Let me put this down. I'm gonna unplug it. And that's the load test. We'll go back. So this is how I check my batteries every winter. And once I'm done with this, what I do is I put them somewhere and I have them plugged on this all winter long. I just leave them. Don't touch them, don't bother them. Make sure you don't put them on cement. If you have a cement garage, put a piece of wood on the floor, put your battery on top of the wood. Don't ever put 
your battery on cement. It doesn't like it. And as you can see, what I do seems to be working. This battery is going to its fifth year, very healthy, and still going. I might get another year out of it. We'll see. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's anything you guys want to ask, write them in the comments below. I forgot one thing. If you guys have installations that you want to do, um, any wiring diagrams you guys need, write below, and we'll do a wiring diagram for you guys. All right. Thanks. Till next time.